Hello everyone. Today's video is how to fully disassemble the slide of the Taurus G3. As always, we need to remove the slide from the lower frame. For this, you pull the slide slightly toward the back and, a la Glock, pull this little tab down and let go the slide. At that point, you can either fire the gun or just pull out the slide. Then we need to remove the spring out of the slide and the barrel. Here you can see the firing pin, the back plate, the firing pin stop, safety device, and a button that releases all this. But first we are going to remove the firing pin, and the way to do it is like many striker fire, is to pull out on that yellow tab here, which is a sleeve for the firing pin. And by doing this, you release the pressure of the firing pin and you can push downward on the back plate. Here I release and there I push. You see, I push it away and I finish it up. There will be a little bit of spring tension once you remove the plate, but not enough to rocket everything out of the gun. So here we have the back plate and then we have the firing pin. The way to take apart the firing pin, you need to give some tension or relieve some tension on the firing pin right there. So you put it onto the slide and push down the spring. So you push down the spring and that releases. Sometimes you have to go fishing for it. But here are two little caps. At that point the spring will come off and the yellow sleeve, watch out, there is another spring underneath. And those are all the parts you have for the firing pin assembly. Let's put them aside. Now we just need to remove the extractor. And to do so, we need to push that little pin here, like a button. In some slide, it's quite easy to push on that pin, on, on that button. Some other is harder. Okay, so here is the button. You push hard on it. At first, you might have to use a hammer. But as the gun is wearing out a little bit, you should just have to push on it. Watch out, there is some tension right here underneath, on the spring. So put your finger on it, and you can safely remove the extractor and there is a little spring right underneath. What out? This little spring is what gives some tension to the extractor. Now we can also remove the safety. There we go, everything is out. No, we have the button. It comes with a plunger and a spring and we have the safety and there is a spring to go with it. Oh, I lost it. There you go. And at that point, the slide is fully disassembled unless you want to replace the sides. To do so, you need an Allen wrench. You unscrew here and then you can either manually slide the rear side out. If it's hard, you need one of those side pushers. I will leave the link below. And for the front side, you have an Allen wrench right in there and then you pop out the site and replace it. Now it is time to reassemble the slide of the G3 and we're gonna do it in exactly the opposite way of how we did it to take it apart but we have to slide those parts in the slide. So now we have the plunger here for the safety and then we have the release button there we go we are going to put back the extractor spring right there 
and to reassemble the extractor you cannot really put it this way you have to put it front first and then you will make sure that the spring everything is fine we're gonna make sure the spring sits right there all right let's put back those guys okay this one is on the four there we go the button there we go the spring back there we go and now the extractor there we go okay so we want that spring as i mentioned before to the position right here but I need to push that little button to be able to push everything in. And you might have to give a little push right there on this, the um, firing pin safety because everything is interlocked here. All right, so now I push that button. And there we go. And I push this a little bit, all right. Now I'm almost in, as you can see. I need to give a nice push there with a punch. And well, as you can see, I'm almost in, but not enough. So I need to push again. Let's see, that's free, okay. Oh. And I'm fully in. can see the button is filling up the entire space of the extractor. Now let's rebuild the firing pin, the short fat tool spring, and then the sleeve, then the long spring, and then we need to put the little tabs in. So remember, we relieve the pressure by pushing on the slide those tabs ready and watch out don't let go of the spring at any time or it will be flying 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 so some pressure down one tab that you put in you can put it inside the spring it's gonna hold and the other one on the other side there you go and it is finally done all right let's put it back into the slide And you need to push on the yellow tab or the yellow sleeve to be able to put back that back plate. And it goes this way. Yeah, a big screwdriver would be better, but that's okay. Once the um, back plate has started, you don't need really to push too much on the yellow tab. Et voilà. It's all done. Everything is reinstalled. You need to put back your barrel. And then your spring. And then everything goes back on to the gun. And we are back in business. Well, until next time, see you guys.